Today we'd like to talk about why we bought an Airstream. A lot of people have been asking, why did you pick an Airstream instead of something else? And you know, I get it. We've got a hundred different videos on YouTube right now. I don't expect you to watch them all sorting through to find those answers, so we're gonna give them to you. It was a really long process that helped us make the decision to get an Airstream. And at the end of the day, we could have picked from a number of rigs. Ultimately, it was just kind of, we had to choose something. Um, there were a lot of things that we liked about the build quality of them, um, the, the cabinetry and things like that we love. We love the use of space. It was such a game changer when we walked into an Airstream for the first time during the shopping process. And we thought, we'll never actually buy one of these, but isn't this so wonderful? But it was something that just kind of hung out in the back of our minds and um you know as we got further and further into the process we just kind of felt like you know this this could be a good fit um i'm steve is is more the one who knows about all the technical things and um i'm more like is it pretty <laughs> which no not i mean i care about all that stuff too but but i do love the style like it's got it's got a real personality and um it's fun that we're gonna live in something that feels like it has a little bit of personality too. I'm the type of person where um, I like um, clean lines and I don't like a whole bunch of decor. I'm pretty like creative and artistic person and so I don't like having too much stimulation um, in my environment and so that was one thing that I really liked about the Airstream was that there was plenty of scope for the imagination and um, just wasn't over the top. I had heard that they were great but to be honest most people haven't seen an airstream even most people that rv haven't been inside of one and i wish airstream did a better job getting them out there and letting people get inside of them because we really had to hunt down our dealer to find them they weren't at any of the rv shows but the second we stepped in we were just blown away and we'd already been shopping at a lot of other stuff and we were frustrated because all the other stuff were just like nothing feels good like we originally wanted a tiny house, then we decided to go to RVs so we could move it more frequently. But there was nothing we liked Then we thought, do we want to even be in an RV? Because nothing, everything was settling in quality, in look and feel, in size, all that. The only thing they had going for them was price. So when we stepped in the Airstreams and found the ones we loved and saw that they were seventy dollars to $100,000, we just kind of wrote them off because we said, we can't afford that though we love them we know we love them so we just kind of put them in the back burner and said we're never going to be able to afford one but now we know that there's something out there that we like and the more we shopped the more we compared everything to an airstream and even our second place choice we felt like we were settling big time and you know if we were going to buy a condo we'd probably spend a hundred to two hundred thousand on it and we thought why not you know buck up save and, and since it took us nine months to find the RV we wanted, we could save almost nine months of income and be able to afford a used one. I really like the quality that they were built in. Um, now that I've seen the ins and outs, I still stand by that they're extremely well-built trailers. They use great wiring. They use so much great stuff. I wish the frames were a little beefier. I wish everything weren't riveted on the inside. I'm fine with the the really cool rivets on the outside but on the inside a lot of things are riveted i'd rather they were screws that i could tighten that's not a huge deal but but yeah same with me you walk in and it, it's open it embraces the outdoors it doesn't feel like you're in a tiny little hotel room so let's go show you some of our favorite features and why we picked the flying cloud 30 over every single other model so most trailer companies measure the box size of their trailer so a 30 foot forest river, for example, is 30 feet of box and they don't count the extra foot on the bumper and they don't count the extra three feet on the tongue. So they really end up being about 34, 35 feet. That's a lot bigger than this. Airstream measures theirs from the ball to the bumper and this is 31 feet long. So this is more comparable to something like a 25, 26 foot Jayco or Forest River or uh, any of those other generic ones that you normally see. So this is the biggest one Airstream makes and they make this in like three or four trim models. The Flying Cloud is the lowest end model. 
Then you've got the international. There's an international signature and a regular international. Oh, I wish I could remember that name right now. I'm forgetting what it is. Sorry. Uh, and then they make the classic above that. And the classic is like 130,000 starting. It's the fancy one with leather everything and hard oak cabinets. The classic didn't really appeal to us. We thought it was kind of ugly and heavier than it needed to be. But some people absolutely love those classics. They have every feature Airstream has ever built. So we were trying to decide between the Flying Cloud, which is this model, and the International uh, Serenity. That's what it was. So it's Flying Cloud, International Signature, and International Serenity. I'm not crazy about the International Signatures. There's just something about the design I don't love. I think it's the plastic sliding doors, and I don't love the storage underneath the dinette. But some people love them. One thing I do love is one, the, some of the internationals have a salsa colored couch that's this bright red leather. I think that's awesome. And I love the internationals that have the light white cabinetry. That looks really cool. But the international and the flying cloud use the same shell and the same frame and everything. And almost everything's the same, but there are a few key differences. So the big reason we went with the flying cloud are these two cabinets actually. So the International 30s and the 27s have one of these windows. I can't remember what they're called. I think they're, what are these windows called? I'm forgetting the name. It's been a while since we've been shopping. It has those windows here. So you have a ton of light in here, but you don't have these cabinets and you give up all that storage space. That was a big reason we went with the Flying Cloud because the Flying Cloud has this. We also really like the Flying Cloud colors. I mean, this light tan is really nice. I think I prefer the white a little bit more, but we like it. We like the brushed aluminum stainless look in here. Um, but yeah, what really sold us on Airstream are the windows. Like, look at this, this is amazing. Our second and third place trailers that we were looking at those, uh, outdoors RV ones. Some of them had good windows, but check this out. There's just light everywhere. Look at these huge windows over here. I mean, most of this is windows, which that's partly why these aren't the best winter snowy thing in the world you could buy. I'd rather have a Nash or Arctic Fox for that. But, but sitting in here, if I'm spending eight hours a day working in here and that's what I see, that's so much better than most other RVs, which this is what you see, or wallpaper everywhere. They just don't have many windows. So immediately that did it for us. Another question we get a ton is, but your Airstream doesn't have slides. You've got to feel cramped in there. Take a look at this. We could dance in here. I mean, Teresa could cut hair in here. This does not feel cramped, especially with the dinette gone. I would not trade this for the dinette for $10,000. I'd much rather have the desk. We have a little table that flips out that we can eat around. I don't like dinettes in general, but anyway, we love the Flying Cloud because it has those cabinets up there. It's quite a bit cheaper than the Internationals and the bones are just as good. The wood's just as strong. It's just got a little bit simpler, minimalist decor than the Internationals. And I'm going to digress a little bit. This isn't so much specifically why we bought this particular Airstream, but another thing that I really like about Airstreams in general is they, I've said this before, they embrace their trailerness. They're not trying to be a Best Western hotel room or like, you know, any, any other kind of like household thing. This looks like a trailer, but it's okay with it. <laughs> and I really like that. We like the classic lines, the classic shape. Personally, at first, the Heritage Airstreams, I didn't care at all, to be honest. And I know that's going to hurt a lot of Airstreamers. I'm starting to care a little bit more, but that was not a selling point to me, is connecting with the founder. or it, It's too far removed in history. It's cool to see the older ones on the road, but we really only like the new ones. And if they'd stopped making these in the 80s, I wouldn't have an Airstream, because a vintage Airstream, while cool, isn't the best house for me. Unless we decided to do a project one, but we ultimately decided in terms of the best use of our time, we decided not to do a build project. And if we were doing a project, I'd buy an Avion because they're stronger and they still have great windows. 
And if you get to see an Avion, you walk in, there's this clock and this barometer. Those are so cool. So another thing we really like, the other models like the 25 and the 27 have panoramic windows here, just like the front. And we initially thought we really wanted that until we realized just how much storage there is in these cabinets. And we're not going to be hanging out in the bedroom like five hours a day looking out the window saying, oh, this is so beautiful. We're going to do that up there. So we don't need panoramic windows all the way around. We've just got the one little window, but we've got all this storage. That is huge for me. So that's why we went with the 30 as well. I believe the 28 has this too, but the 25 and 27 don't. They just got a little nightstand and the 25 actually has a sideways bed that's pegged up against the wall. So only one person can walk around the side. And if we weren't living in it, that'd be just fine. And I'm sure we could still make it work, but we're really glad to have the full walk around bed and having those cabinets in the corner buys us a ton more space. And I mean, they've all got this awesome storage under here, but we really like that. We also, from the 27 foot up, has the double right here. And that's, that's really helpful. So the 25, the Flying Cloud and International 25s only have one of these for both people. So we thought that was worth it. It's a little bit more to tow, but we're only going to be towing once or twice a month. So we figure let's sacrifice a little more. I'm okay towing a little more, just taking a little easier when we tow to have a little more room because this is our house, not a weekend toy that we take out every once in a while to play in the woods. And Airstream, if you're watching, build more units with desks. Those are awesome. This generation is going to be working from them. And this was not built by Airstream. This is aftermarket and it's kind of cheesy and needs to be restained, but we love it. Do this instead of a dinette and keep these couches up here. These are awesome. That's the way to go. Anyway, that is why we wanted the Flying Cloud 30 because it offered all those things that no other one offered. Part of us wanted to get the International Serenity because... It's kind of the luxurious, stylish, fancy one that you brag about. But we didn't buy this to brag. We bought this to live in. And and also, we we had narrowed down our criteria of which Airstream we wanted to a pretty narrow criteria. And when this one came up with the desk and it met everything else, it was like, bingo! Oh, it was perfect. Yeah. A lot of people ask what we paid. These go for between 50,000 and 78,000 used, depending on how they are. We paid somewhere in between that range. I won't tell you exactly how much that's personal, but that gives you an idea. And if you're looking for a deal on an Airstream, just kind of give up and just get a good one and don't just save a little more and get a great one instead of trying to find the absolute best deal you can find. So let me tell you two things I don't love about it. I already talked about this a little er earlier. I don't love the blinds. I, they look awesome, but blinds rattle around and they get bent when you try to open these and they kind of hang out while this goes in. I would love some ocean air roller shades like the new ones have. I don't love that it has halogen lights, but we swapped most out for LEDs. We just need to do the ceiling ones. I love the speakers. I actually love the subwoofer. I didn't think I would, but I love that. And the other thing I don't love about this model, and Denny, our salesman, agrees, is this awning is one giant 30-foot awning. And that's really heavy. It puts a lot of stress on these points. It's kind of flimsy, and I really wish, I don't know how they could do it, but maybe make it two awnings. And I wish the other side had awnings too. So when you're buying an Airstream, see if the awning is just on one side. Some models, oh, look at that, Class A. Some models have an awning over every single window. And we may want to add that in the future, who knows. But yeah, we absolutely love this trailer. Absolutely love it. Zero regrets, not even a little bit. Where every other trailer, we definitely would have been settling. So there it is. I have zero regrets about this trailer. Zero.
it was the perfect trailer for us. I'm glad we took nine months and shopped around, learned about the others because it really made the Airstream stand out as, as being different and unique in a good way. So this is our home. We are so excited for it. That's why we bought an Airstream and particularly the Flying Cloud 30. But your needs are gonna be different than ours. Find what works best for you and don't rush it and step in as many as you possibly can.